Seriously, Paige, if stupidity was a superpower, we'd be fitting you for boots and a cape right now. <laughs> you know what? Let's just ask them. What's up? We want to stay out past curfew tonight to go to this frat party. It's an X triangle horseshoe. <laughs> Chi Delta Omega. Why do you say that? Every time I say X triangle horseshoe, it's getting really annoying. <laughs> Anyway, we need a good fake story to get by mom and dad. I say we tell them we're going out for pizza and a midnight movie. Oh, yeah? What's the movie? Um, what kind of pizza? Uh, uh, sorry, you're grounded. <laughs> I told you we should go with my story. Paige, mom's not going to buy that we're cool teen detectives out to solve a hot new case. <laughs> Dude, this is our ticket into the big leagues. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fraternity party. Drunk co-eds in wet t-shirts dancing on tabletops. <laughs> Haven't you watched my sorority girls gone wild tape? Uh, no, I'm actually really afraid to touch that thing. <laughs> oh, but man, anyway, you're right. We're so going. We just need a good excuse to get past mom. Okay, you know what? We'll tell her that we're going on a last minute camping trip with the Baxleys. No, mom will never believe that. <laughs> of course not, we're liars. But mom knows Pierce is incapable of lying to her, so we'll just lie to Pierce and let him tell mom. God, did you just think of that now? No, I've had that one in my back pocket since I was nine. <laughs> hey, Pierce, guess what? What? We're gonna go on a camping trip with the Baxley's tonight. Oh, cool. <laughs> I was gonna go to some fraternity party with the girls, but this is even better. <laughs> you can suck or you can shine. Got a crowded house, but I've got mine. Bust through the back door, stand in line. You can suck or and the home of the brave. <laughs> All right, Brad, it's me. I'm back. Yeah, I know. Knicks versus Lakers, baby. Nothing gets better than this. All right, I got to hang up now because I cannot talk to you and drink beer with my foam finger on at the same time. <laughs> so, Bob, it's Saturday night. You can either watch your Knicks game or have a hot romantic evening with me upstairs. Next game. Good answer. I'm dying to read my book. Well, we're off to answer the call of the wild. Patton, is that cologne you're wearing to go camping? <laughs> it's bug repellent. I mean, some of those mosquitoes are bigger than me. <laughs> hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. I fell over and couldn't get up. Pierce, are you guys really going camping and fishing? Yeah, of course. And don't worry, Mom. We'll let the little fellers go. I've insisted on a very strict catch, kiss, cuddle, and release policy. <laughs> hey, we'll have a good time. I hope you reel in some nice big ones. You and me both, Mom. Paige and I are going out for pizza and a midnight movie, so we won't be back till after curfew. Okie dokie. Hold it! Pizza in a movie, huh? Penny, that's an awfully thin shirt for a girl who's always complaining about the temperature of movie theaters. I was going to borrow a sweater for my friend Jillian. Mm-hmm. And Paige, white pants when you know you're going to be around pizza sauce? I was going to borrow a sweater for my friend Jillian. <laughs> All right, don't insult my intelligence. Where are you really going? Okay, we might as well come clean. Paige and I are cool teen detectives out to solve a hot new case. <laughs> got a crowded house, but I've got mine. I can't believe this guy. He's only letting in girls. We're never gonna get in there. Hey, guys! I found kindling for the campfire. Pierce, ditch the gear. Look, we already told you we're not really going camping. Oh, oh yes, we are. You are not turning me into a liar. I told Mom we're going camping. We are going camping. If you'll excuse me, I've got to go dig a latrine. <laughs> Time to get us into a party. Hey, Tiny, what's the dilly? Afraid of a little competition? Keeping the beefcake out so we don't steal your women? Oh, what are you... Oh, what's going on? <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> so what do you say? We getting in? We're getting closer. Incoming! <laughs> I told you I wouldn't break my legs. Somebody owes me five bucks. Buskin, you gotta quit jumping off of buildings, dude. 
Okay, Mom. <laughs> hey, what's up? Uh, Susie Feller, right? Rachel Wellworth. Whatever, you are hot. <laughs> this man is my hero. All right, I'm going on an ice run. Who's coming? Dude, this guy's our ticket in. Look, if we go get ice with them, we can follow him back into the party. Hey, Alaskan, we'll go with you. Whoa, what's your story? Did we hire you for dwarf bowling? <laughs> Actually, I'm Pat and Chase, freshman. You're a little small. I'm a boy genius. <laughs> a brain, nice. Say something smart. The sooner we go get the ice, the sooner we're back at the party. Whoa, man, you're gifted. Let's go. I can't believe you lied to us to sneak out to a frat party. Yeah, why don't you go up to your rooms and think about what you did for the next uh, three quarters and 55 seconds. <laughs> no, 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 you're not going anywhere. If you lied to us about this, who knows what else you've lied about? Well, we wouldn't have to lie to you if you trusted us. Oh, no. That's the same bowl I used to give my mom. <gasps> <laughs> oh, my God, Bob, am I becoming my mother? Okie dokie. <laughs> All right, look, I, I don't want to have the same relationship with you guys that I had with my mother. I want us to be honest, so let's wipe the slate clean. I want to hear all the lies you've been telling me, and I won't hold it against you. Tonight, and tonight only, I'm granting you amnesty. What does that mean? Amnesty is No, 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 the other thing. Oh, well, granting means... No, before that. You idiot! <laughs> Bob, she's not deaf. <laughs> oh, could we please turn off the game? Look, we are going to clear the air between us if it takes all night. Right. All night. Nothing's more important than our relationship with our children. That's why I'm going to go in and... Brew up a pot of coffee. We're going to hash this thing out. Thank you, Bob. I'm glad you kids are finally starting to tell us the truth. Stop the lies. Yeah, because a family that deceives each other, why, that's no kind of family at all. Oh, darn it. Honey, we're out of milk. I'm just going to pop out to the store. <laughs> in the cave. It's a roller coaster ride. Am I the only one who thinks we shouldn't be driving through a cornfield? Parker, if Luskin says he knows a shortcut to the ice store, then we should trust him. Yeah, bless these will be great for the cookout. Hey, Brain, do another one. Uh, three trillion divided by 8,009 times 12. Uh, seven. You're blowing my mind. <laughs> Yeah. Van the man, what's up? Nice, we'll see you in a few. Little change of plans, dudes. We're going to Canada. Canada? As in Canada, Canada? Yeah, Canada's a great party town. I mean, with all that great maple syrup, how could it not be? We're hitting Satchua College. Night of the first snowfall, all the sorority girls run topless through the quad till dawn. It's called the run into the boobs. What do you say, Brain? I say road trip! Uh, Patton, word please. What's wrong? Well, for starters, we're driving through a cornfield with a psycho. He's harmless. Scarecrow! Oh, man. At least I hope that was a scarecrow. Patton, I have basketball practice in the morning. If I don't make it, coach is gonna bench me. Relax, okay? We can still see Canadian boobs and still get you home in time for practice. Crunch the numbers. You are not a brain! <laughs> well, I'll go on one condition. Hand me that lighter up there. I'm about to take this party up a notch. Nice! I think I know where you're going with this, dude. <laughs> yeah, you do. Marshmallows! <laughs> All right, I don't know what's taking your father so long, so let's just get started. I want to hear all the lies you've been telling me. Who wants to start? I will. 
I've felt incredibly guilty about this for months now, and... No, I don't think I can say it. No, go on, go on. It's crucial that you be totally honest, no matter how scary it is. Okay, before Dad's boss's wedding, I told you I liked your dress. But I didn't. It made you look like a house being tented for termites. <laughs> Here. Feel better? I know I do. Okay, Penny, anything you want to confess? And just to clarify, it doesn't have to be about me or my appearance. <laughs> then I got nothing. Come on, Penny, you must have something you've lied to me about. Well, a few weeks ago, I cut class. Okay. Now, that's something we've all done. To get my other nipple pierced. What? I didn't even know you had the first one pierced. 